Hello. I thought I was gonna have a nice informative video about how to disassemble a brake booster and put it back together, but I can't do anything the easy way. So uh, I got up here and I just started taking stuff apart and making a mess. And here I am. As you can see, it is all in pieces. We've got the uh, front housing for the booster here. This is the rear housing and a bunch of internal pieces. There's the old diaphragm, some old springs and rubber seals and washers, some new parts, the pipe that comes up that goes to uh, your carburetor and to the uh, vacuum canister and some instructions. And uh, the main problem I'm having right now, first it took me forever to get it apart because it was kind of complicated and one I didn't really have good instructions to follow to take it apart so I started removing pieces but I got everything apart I didn't lose anything but main issue everything is so pitted I cleaned these little pieces up I'm not sure what they'll do I think they'll be okay but my biggest problem is right here this is the, this is after a lot of cleaning wire brush uh, flat discs just got a lot of pitting there on the surface where it mates together and the uh, um, rubber diaphragm goes. It's not going to seal good and it'd probably tear a hole in my diaphragm if I don't do something about it. It's a little rough inside of here too, but not as bad. I think that'll clean up okay with some sandpaper. But after much thought, I think I'm just going to clean it up a little bit more and do a skim coat of JB Weld over it and let that cure and then sand it down until I have a smooth surface to uh, uh, mount everything back together. And if that doesn't work, I'll do what I should have done in the first place and just uh, retrofit a different booster and master cylinder to the car and go ahead and convert it to a dual reservoir. But you know, I'm stubborn. I thought I'd try to rebuild it because the rebuild kit was cheaper than all the other parts I wanted and I knew I need to do to upgrade. So got a nice new diaphragm here, some O-rings. Not sure what all goes where. I think I may have to actually save a few pieces. But uh we'll get there. Anyway, until next time. I'm gonna try to keep on cleaning all this up and maybe I can get a reassembly video or at the very best, a video where it's reassembled and I'm putting it back in the car. But uh, that's where we're at. Now, oh, one more thing. Let's take a trip outside here. Just digging through my basement, cleaning things out to get ready to move. And I had something that I had forgotten. It is my old Case Agri King pedal tractor that I had when I was a kid. And at one point when I was like 10 or 11, I spray painted the whole thing and it turned out awful. Don't know why I did it. But anyway, I, a while back I took it all apart and started stripping the paint off of it. It's not coming off too easily, but a little bit at a time. And I've got a box up in there somewhere with all the other internal parts to it. So maybe one day after I'm done doing the 500 other projects I've got, I might start on that pedal tractor. But uh, thanks for uh, watching me ramble about my junk and not get anything done very often, and we'll see you later.